Jim, disappointing end here at Essex. Been a long road trip. What's the message to the group of players after that performance? I, I was very proud of that, that group of players. You know, we've had some new guys come in for this uh, this last game, but there's a number of guys there, and I include Haney and, and Sibs who are, who are down at Canterbury this week. Who've, you know, the the last sort of four or five weeks um, have been pretty intense. I think we've we've been stretched as a squad. We've we've had to deal with some some adversity along the way. But I think when you look at those group of games and you start with the York game away and the win, um, we've had you know a tight defeat against Surrey, uh, two you know hardly fought draws, and then obviously I think coming up against uh, an Essex team that, that outplayed us over four days. You know, I think the fact they got into four days is something that hasn't been achieved by many teams, which is credit to the guys with such a young group of, uh, of lads coming in. You know, losing Haney and, Haney and Sibs was always going to be you know, a big hole to fill and um, just glad we got the opportunity to give debuts to you know, Dan, Dan Mosley. I'm sure he's valued the experience, uh, maybe not got the results he wanted, but being a part of this group and, and playing against uh, a pretty strong team, um, hopefully he's learned a lot. I'm, we came to Chelmsford knowing three things. One was this would be a result wicket, and it has all season. So we needed to be on top of passages of play. We needed to catch our catches, and we needed to make sure that we seized opportunities and and withstood clusters of wickets, which has happened uh, pretty much all season here. Second, Essex are a good team who are you know in a two-horse race with Somerset, so they're playing they're playing good cricket. You know, got the leading wicket taker in the country in Harmer, uh, and Siddles, you know, an experienced operator. Um, and then thirdly, we we knew we were having to again deal with. Um, diversity in terms of uh, players being, you know, taken to the Lions, and and then obviously losing Ollihan and Dolby on on the third day was, you know, was, was a tough one to take, and it just adds again to the, the kind of stuff we've had to deal with. But um, I have said to the guys the the way in which they've conducted themselves um, over this period, um, there's been no moaning, there's been no blame, there's been no feeling sorry for themselves. They've kept coming back, and get on the bus. Get in the hotel room, get out of the hotel room, get to the ground, train hard, work as hard as you possibly can, deal with every situation that th that's thrown at you and stick together. And, and, and they've done that, so I commend them for that. Um, we're still in a position where we want to consolidate Division 1 and you know, results during this period have gone our way as well. So um, we move on to a different phase now. Um, probably could have come a, probably a game earlier for us in terms of how, how stretched we were, but we go into a different phase of cricket where we can go free ourselves up Smiles on our faces and go and entertain uh, the Warwickshire faithful, um, and they're, they're looking forward to that. It's also a bit of a time of reflection as well. You could probably look at these five weeks, and then you can almost plan for that Somerset home game, which is kind of in the middle of the block of those T20s in August. Yeah, um, what we're going to do is, is play what's in front of us right now. You know, that's a, you know a coach journey home first of all, um, a day off, and then you know a, a training day to get the squad together for. You know the next group of, of T20 games. I think that that Red Bull game will take care of itself as we get closer. But I think we need to put a lot of focus in. You know, limited time to be able to prep for this competition. You know, in the past we've had a week to, to even play a minor counties team or, or play a second team, a couple of second teams. But there are a group of guys who have been playing second team cricket. Ashton Agar has been involved with second team cricket and played a couple of games, scored some runs, taken some wickets. Uh, really good guy, settled in nicely. Um, so we'll, we'll look forward to meeting up with him on Thursday, uh, and then. It's T20 cricket, you know, it's about working out your formula as quickly as you can, getting your guys in form in the right positions um, and getting on a roll. So hopefully we can do that. Staying with the County Championship, you said about the league table and results have gone our way and it is in our hands with a trip to nuts. It's been an exciting prospect with five games to go. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be set up when you get into those those last few champos um, and majority will be at home. Um, We've, we've found ourselves going on the road and, and often wickets being made to sort of combat what our strengths are. So, uh, yeah, we'll use our home advantage and hopefully you know, the guys will finish that season strong. Not going to be too concerned of what goes on elsewhere. If we continue to work like we have been and, and have the, the small wins, whether it be personal bests and the guys making the debuts and, and not looking out of place and, uh, and the senior guys continually uh, to be strong leaders of the group, um, it almost doesn't matter what happens for me, as long as they keep doing that, the rest will take care of itself.